I am at Admiralty Station. Uh, it is the 15th of May, 2022. And it's rather exciting because there's a new extension to the East Rail Line, which finishes at Admiralty. And you can see the sign uh, just behind me there. So I'm gonna go and have a look at the new line and try to describe it to you a little bit. Part of Admiralty Station that we're using is the new bit where the South Island line terminates and then we've just gone off to the right hand side. So strange! This is the new platform and it's, it's funny to see the, the first class section. <laughs> Wow. It smells very painty. So this is it. This is the new bit of the line. This is where we are at Exhibition Centre. First impressions? Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm quite liking these tiles. Sort of a greeny grey maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe sort of a khaki colour. Uh, got some little extra painty bits up there. I don't know what they're for. And then there's a, a giant mural which it seems to be called Connecting the Two Sides of Victoria Harbour. A new milestone for the East Rail Line. Anyway, this is the platform level. Not much else to say. It has, of course, the first class um, validator. And lots of people posing for photos. <laughs> Can't see too many vloggers. Maybe they came in the morning. So they've actually got the bombs that uh, they excavated during the, um, when they were excavating this station when they were digging up the earth to to build this station um, they've got the actual bombs look at that that's amazing there's another one as well in the corner people are queuing up to have their photo taken i don't think i'm going to queue up for a photo as i understand the front there's a propeller on the front of the bomb and when it drops out of the plane, the, the wind causes the propeller to move, which um, sets off the timer, which will then cause the bomb to explode. So perhaps the reason that this one didn't explode is that that, that propeller switch didn't happen, it didn't work. Um, anyway, it's a pretty amazing reminder of, of war and that Hong Kong was involved in, in the Second World War. and have a look at the concourse. So on the southbound platform, which means the platform going to Admiralty, they've got a little history of the um, East Rail Line and like some, some photos from, from that period, which is very cool. It starts at Shengshai and Fanling. And then, yeah, I just realized that these are all water. So in order to understand uh, why Exhibition Center and this extension is important, we need to have a little bit of a history lesson. So here we go. When I arrived in Hong Kong in 2008, the journey from the Northern New Territories to Hong Kong Island was long but fairly simple. 
you could change at Chim Sa Choi East and be in Central pretty quickly. Then, in 2009, the West Rail Line was extended and the East Rail Line was shortened so that they both terminated at Hong Hum. Not too bad, you might say. Everything looks quite nicely connected. This is true, but it also meant that the same journey from northern Hong Kong into central now needed two changes, here and here. Oh, and there's a massive long walk between Chim Sa Choi and Chim Sa Choi East, and you can't use the same ticket, you have to exit and pay again. This didn't really affect me most of the time, as I've always lived in Kowloon, but I must say that I slightly dreaded Kowloon Tong Station, and here's why. If you didn't want the double interchange and double ticket situation at Chim Sa Choi in Hong Hum, then you could change from the East Rail Line at Kowloon Tong and come down this way. This meant that thousands of people from all of these East Rail Line stations would join thousands of people from all of these stations on the Maan Shan Line here at Tai Wai, and they would all interchange at Kowloon Tong. Oh, and it wasn't just the people who work in Central, it's anyone who worked here, 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 or here. When you have so many people trying to get through the same space at the same time, it's called a bottleneck and it's easy to see why. After that, there were lots of little improvements. We got a new bit of the island line in late 2014, early 2015, and an extra bit of the Kuntong line in early 2016. In late 2016, we got the South Island line, which meant that you didn't need to wait for hours on end for a bus or taxi out of Ocean Park. In 2020, we got a great new bit of the Maan Shan Line, which meant people travelling between the north and east could change at Diamond Hill, which helped with the bottleneck at Kowloon Tong quite a bit. Then last year, in 2021, the Maan Shan Line and the West Rail Line joined together and formed the Tuan Ma Line. You can watch a video about that on my channel. But even after all of this, it was still a hassle to get onto Hong Kong Island from the Northern New Territories. That's why this tiny little bit here is so great. It means you can get into town from Sheng Shui and Fan Ling on one ticket with no changes at all. Now this is the concourse. It's a little bit dull if I'm honest did get my station guide, which is good. And they've got toilets. Uh, disabled toilets, baby changing, and male and female toilets. That's pretty handy. And my favorite beer is the air quality. Challenge is to make the air quality go down <laughs> with the things that you do in the toilet. I'm not gonna try that out today. Maybe another time. Okay, well I see it's actually underground. 
Bit of a funky pan as well on the wall, not sure about that. And rocks. All right, let's do a quick reaction to this place. Not sure what I think about this pink, to be honest. It's pretty much the grossest pink colour that I've ever seen in my life. Ooh, the lettering is kind of bluish. This escalator is going to take us up to the two and mile line. Then I can go home. Thank you.